More Heart Than Talent Radio. More Heart Than Talent Radio is brought to you today by my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. If you find yourself struggling to find your breakthrough and frustrated with your results, join my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. It's a private video coaching call every other week where I'll be teaching the skill of the week followed by coaching. JCIC members one-on-one live for observation. All calls are recorded and posted in the JCIC members area. Members will have access to the private JCIC Facebook group where they can ask questions, interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, the other JCIC members, and receive any support required in their breakthrough process. When you enroll, you'll receive the new members welcome kit, which includes my new Breakthrough Factor audio program, my Breakthrough Accelerator course, my digital coaching program, and so much more, all for $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Jeffrey Combs live, game time baby, here we go. Facebook Live, Tuesday afternoon, December 4th, 2018. Inspired to be on this live with you today. If you're just watching here for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi Hope, good to have you aboard here. That's Hope, who's been a longtime client of mine. I was sitting in the Golden Mastermind Seminars offices with today's live, and today's live is going to be the topic is the five relationship challenges, solutions for relationship success in business and life. Relationship is the ability to relate, being relatable. I'll cover a few quick announcements. Kimberly Loveless, good to see you in Missouri. Kimberly is one of my exceptional clients near the St. Louis area. So I want to see you. Luann, good to see you. Shree, good to see you. Frank Pecoraro, who has hosted many events in Albany, New York. So love, love, love many of you. I had the opportunity to spend quality, quality time with you. It's the end of the year of 2018. 2019 is right around the corner. A lot of inspiring content for wrapping up this year and moving into next year. Before I move into the content today, I am not going to be hosting the event December 22nd in Terrytown, New York. I've moved that to January, and it's going to be a much better date for us. Instead of doing it right before Christmas, we'll do it right after Christmas, January 26th. That event's going to be hosted by Kara DeSico Sandre, and she is an exceptional, or exceptional woman. So that's going to be fantastic. And we're going to move into the inspirational portion, but also one other thing, in wrapping up the year, December 15th, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to thank my good friend, good friend who is hosting that event. It's going to be a fantastic event. I'm also going to be in December 29th. I'll be in Los Angeles with Brittany Cara, and it's going to be another fantastic event. So the seminar portion today that I'm going to cover is the relationships, the five strategies to having exceptional relationships. And if you're not, if you have challenges relating and you get overwhelmed and you continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings over and over, you will attract your reality, the same situation, to fulfill an emotional craving that you become addicted to. To be able to relate, you want to be able to relate with self. But if you don't know why you do what you do, you'll keep doing the same situation over and over. To be able to relate with self, that's clarity. Be able to communicate with self. And instead of saying, I don't know, you do know. When you know, when you're aware, when you understand and you have trust, you are conscious. And in consciousness, consciousness also can create relatability. Now, being relatable also requires you to be an exceptional listener. Not only are you empathetic, you can be sympathetic, but most importantly, you understand. And when you understand people, their predictability, why they do what they do, then you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that create a lot of your anxieties. As you begin to let go of your anxieties, you can understand other people's anxieties, which allows you to be relatable. And if you're a coach, a speaker, 
an influencer, an affluencer, someone that other people are looking up to for support, for coaching, any multitude of situations, it's going to be your responsibility to be able to relate. Now, my host in Atlanta, Carlotta, is going to be an, is an exceptional relator. My host in Los Angeles, Brittany Cara, is an exceptional relator. And some of the people that I'm hosting events with next year are exceptional at relating. Frank Pecoraro, who's on this live today, has exceptional communication skills. And it's those skills that allow you to listen, hear what's meant, you get beyond what's said, and you're able to be able to understand what someone means, where they are coming from. And in that type of communication, you are, you are someone who's like in the zone of it. And when you're in the zone of it, you have a command of what's going on. Now this, this requires a set of emotional reflexes. But if you're checked out, overwhelmed, not being attentive, not paying attention because you're worried about outcomes that haven't happened, then you're typically ahead of yourself. You're not able to listen, you hear what you think you want to hear, and you have challenges being able to relate. Typically because you're worried about an outcome that hasn't happened. That would be getting in trouble, making a mistake, worried about offending someone, being rejected, and a whole multitude of situations that keep you perpetuating the same series of emotions over and over, <clears throat> creating a similar outcome. Communication is the key. What does that mean, communication? The, ab the ability to articulate. As you become skilled at articulating your feelings, then you are able to, to be able to have clarity in your communication style. And in communication, you want to be able to use shorter sentences that end with periods or question marks. Now, there's, there's a very, this is, key, this is a key component here. Okay, so I want to write this out for you. See, look at this. Yes or no. These are closed-in questions. When you ask a question, are you serious about starting a business from your home? Are you looking for a way to improve the quality of your health? Those are yes, no questions. Now, what many people do is they'll answer that question with a preposition by going well. Some of them will say, um, well, and then typically what they tell you is a story. They don't even understand because they weren't listening. They don't understand you ask a yes, no question. That's a closed-in question. An open-ended question is, if money weren't an issue, what would you do with your time? Why do you want to own a business? Why do you want to change? Why do you want to live in recovery? Why do you want to move into conscious awareness? So these are the type of questions that allow you to, to create rapport and allow you to fact find. And this is a different type of question in communication. And to be able to effectively communicate with others, it's important that you begin to become effectively communicating with self. That means your self-talk. You're able to communicate with yourself without being critical. You don't say, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, I can't believe I did this, this always happens to me. It means you become aware of the way you communicate with yourself and you don't communicate in critical communication style. You're objective, you're open, you're honest, and you don't have to say, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, and you let go of the ums, um well, um well, um well, um well, and um, and um, and um. That means you're buying time, trying to think of what to say based on unresolved issues that have either been repressed, which means you don't know why you do what you do, or they're suppressed, you know you do them, but you continue to do them over and over to feel disappointed. As you begin to let go and separate your feelings from events, you can effectively create effective communication. It's not the right questions that you focus on, not the perfect questions. When you focus on mistakes, you're actually creating a neurochemical dependency. And, on, and, on, and, and because emotions have a corresponding response, you create a neurochemical dependency on being disappointed. You depend on being disappointed. Sounds contradictory, but that becomes the payoff of what so many people create. If you own a business in free enterprise, you're a real estate agent, a mortgage broker, you're, you're doing arbitrage branding, you're an online marketer, you're a coach, a network marketer, a direct sales person, you have a small business, a restaurant, any multitude of situations. It's not getting your point across, it's not being direct, it's clear. When you're clear in your communication style, people will begin to hear you. They hear you differently. That means as you begin to communicate, you let go of some of your intensity and you relax in your intensity. You also let go of your meek weakness. 
and you're so worried about making a mistake that your body shuts down emotionally. And you find a place in the middle called consciousness. As you separate your feelings from anxiety, fear, and doubt, you elevate your energy into a place called awareness, conscious awareness. That's where you come from clarity, from vision, and you understand the outcome. You're in a 90-day game plan, one day at a time. You have a method of operation, a system. You're detail conscious. You have a much better understanding of cause and effect, why people do what they do. And you also understand people's predictability. As a, as a man or a woman of influence, you're able to raise your energy, your vibration, your emotions. And you're coming from a different place called power, a place called esteem. And that esteem, you have regard for self and regard for others that's healthy. And you're not in an unhealthy body, overwhelmed, in a neurochemical set of feelings creating cortisol. You live in a relaxed body. You're in a place called peace. That peace becomes your power. And that power allows you to listen. That means inner ear, inner knowing. And in inner knowing, you know. And when you know, you're not in doubt. It allows you to communicate much more effectively. And a key word in communication is this. D-E-T-A-C-H. Detach. Detach. You're able to detach. You're able to detach yourself from a set of feelings based on unresolved issue. And in detachment, it doesn't mean you don't care, but it means you're not dependent upon an outcome to fulfill your self-confidence. Confidence requires a win-lose dichotomy, a black and white situation. When you're not attached to the outcome, you're able to detach from it, meaning that you're not dependent on that outcome because you know that you're the outcome. You're the outcome and you're the result of your energy. And in your energy and your vibrational emotional field, you'll attract your reality more frequently relationships that allow you to relate. What you are seeking in business partners and teammates and coaching clients and vendors and contractors and employees are people that you can collaborate with, not be in conflict with. You want to do your best to avoid drama addicts, spiritual and emotional vampires, people who have to be right, passive aggressive perpetrators, people who want to be in conflict, drama and chaos addicts. Now that comprises a large percent of the world. However, there's also a large percent of the world that doesn't live in that kind of energy. And your objective is to be able to attract your reality frequently, people that you can relate to. That means that people who are in alignment with your cause, your purpose, and your meaning. And if you're looking for a soulmate, a teammate, someone you can relate to, well, it's going to be your responsibility to improve your communication skills. Your objective is not to control an outcome. Your objective is to have great conversations so that there's relatability. That means you also, it's your responsibility not to personalize situations that aren't about you. So if you're sitting in an airplane and someone's not friendly, they're not rejecting you, they're not friendly. And, but if you start to personalize it, you can spend that entire trip flying home worrying about the mistake you made or being angry about this person next to you. When you can separate your feelings from the events, you're not the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings, meaning you no longer are in anxiety, fear, and doubt. You're no longer dependent on being codependent, and you're no longer creating a neurochemical response over and over to fulfill feelings that keep you emotionally addicted. And it's not a how do I, it's not a how, how do I accomplish this. This means it's an I am state. It means I, am, I understand. When you understand, then you'll do this. You will stop trying, T-R-Y-I-N-G, trying, tomorrow is really yesterday, trying to make sense. I'll show you how to spell. This is what so many people do. They're trying to make sense. They try to make sense of situations that are nonsensical. And when you're no longer this mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings, you're able to effectively and easily let go. And when you're letting go, your communication style changes because you're not attached to an outcome that hasn't happened. You're not telling yourself a story about events 
that haven't happened in the future. You're able to be here, be now, and be present. And when you're present, your energy is in consciousness, and that consciousness becomes magnetism. Now, when these people show up, it's your responsibility to see if they're qualified buyers, if there's someone that you want to do business with, if there's someone that could be a teammate with you, if there's someone that you want to have join your circle of influence or be in your team. This is my boy Alex Freel. He's over here. Hi, Alex. So Alex is over here hooking up the laptop because we're in the middle of creating a solution. And see, that means you're able to adapt and adjust. So Alec and I had great communication. We had exceptional communication right in the middle of the process. And, and as we were doing this, we're able to separate our feelings from the events that shape them a minor technical difficulty. So as you're able to effectively let go of cause and effect, you're able to adapt and adjust. Now we had a little technical difficulty and I didn't lose control. I wasn't in an outer body experience. I wasn't overwhelmed. Because I have Alec Friel right here who's the technical genius. Come over here, Alec. So what we did is we had a technical difficulty and because Alec is the producer of the Facebook Live. He was able to, in a very short period of time, and see, that's relatability. I wasn't screaming to Alec, oh my God, Alec, how did you screw this up? I can't believe you did this. Oh, oh, I realize it's not your fault, Alec, so how did Chris do this? Oh my God. That, that would have been the old me in my 20s, because I would have sought someone to blame. Round three, like I said, in the old days, in my 20s, in my early 30s, I would have sought someone to blame. How can this happen to me? See, that would be ineffective communication. I could let an event like that ruin my entire afternoon. Not only would it ruin my entire afternoon, it could lead to addictive behavior. I would get so overwhelmed in my unresolved anger that I would require something to take the edge off. Now, even in early sobriety, in that kind of communication with myself that was not effective, I would have to exercise. I would have to find something to take that edge off. So what I, I'd play racquetball, a very violent sport where I could hit a ball about 130 miles an hour and I hit someone in the back of the thigh and take my aggressive behavior out on someone or something. That's unresolved anger. That was not effective communication style. And in my early coaching, I was too aggressive. And I've learned over time uh, how to effectively communicate and be a lot more relatable. When you're, when you're creating relationships, your objective is not to control the outcome, it's not to be in control, it's to learn to let go of control. Also, it's very important in your ability to communicate and articulate that you're not responsible for other people's outcomes. You're responsible for your feelings, for your actions, for your inactions. You're responsible for the emotions that you transmit and transmute, and you're responsible for your results. You're not responsible for other people's results, but in relatability, you want to be able to attract people, once again, that you can attract that have cause, meaning, and purpose. So this is, this is called synchronicity, this type of energy. When you can attract your reality frequently, people of like mind, of common cause, common meaning, who have common goals, common object, uh, objectives. Now you're going to run into objections. And to be able to create a relationship, have relatability with people, it's your responsibility to understand that not everyone will purchase, buy, see your value, want to join you, agree with you. And you also want to understand that you don't want to try and make sense of certain situations. It's better to understand. And as you begin to let go of the events that shape your feelings, then you won't have the tendency to want to be right, prove people wrong. In relationships, that's usually a situation for conflict. And it's your responsibility, it's a reflex, ability to respond. You're able to create a reflex where you understand someone wants you to be their counterforce. They're the force and they want you to be that counterforce so they can be and stay in conflict. They get a neurochemical high from that and then you get a neurochemical low from it. And you wonder how this happened. I'm rejected again. I'm abandoned again. I'm resentful of this situation. I'm guilty. I'm in shame. How did this happen? This becomes the five fecta of emotions that create anxiety, fear, and doubt. If you're able to take that breath that connects the it connects the vagus nerve in the back of your head, goes back around your back, hooks up around underneath your gut where your intuition is. 
you're able to separate the neurons that wire and fire that form a feeling. And that feeling that you begin to let go of dissipates. It goes like this. And you're not the mind-body connection to those events anymore. And you're able to understand, you know, and you relate. Relationships are dependent upon love, joy, bliss, connection, understanding, awareness, common commonalities, goals, common object objectives, outcomes that are favorable, and relatability, being able to create compassion for people and understanding. It also requires confrontation at times. It requires direction. It requires steering people on course. It also requires letting go of people that you realize just aren't going to comply with the situations that you're in. Being able to let people be right without you making them wrong. Because you want to be and stay in your own consciousness so you don't feel rejected and or abandoned. So when you stuff your feelings it, it's going to make you challenging to relate with people because you're not able to articulate them. And when you stuff your feelings, typically they become repressed or suppressed, and then your body requires something to take the edge off. Pharmaceutical medication, food, alcohol, compulsive debting, spending, sex, anorexia, bulimia, any multitude of addictions that show up physically based on emotions on unresolved events. This weekend I'm hosting Breakthroughs to Success, I believe it's number 124? Yes. 124. 20 year, over, moving into a 20 year period, I've hosted over 124 intimate breakthroughs to successes. Now these are intimate events for my coaching clients anywhere from 25 to 35 people at a time that I facilitate. I've had as many as 50 people in a room at a time. I typically do four of them a year. I've done as many as 10 in a year. But I have a lot of experience in facilitation of this. And my objective over a two and a half day period is, is to create a space where people come together. It's not my objective to bring them together. I'm the, I'm this, I'm the one degree of the six degrees of separation of why they're here, but it's not my responsibility to fix people. My responsibility is facilitate an event where there's common commonalities, where people can come together for common goals, common objectives, and oftentimes there's a highly favorable result for most of the constituents and clients, but it's not, because it's not about perfection, it's about effectiveness, some people just aren't ready. And it's my responsibility to understand and articulate my feelings so I don't feel rejected, abandoned, neglected, abused, violated. In these situations, the objective, objective is to create relationships. And relatability comes from listening, understanding, knowing, being, being aware of other people's sensitivities, being aware of how defensive and sensitive some people are, putting people in, a, in an environment that it fosters change, rather than an environment that fosters conflict. Conflict creates conflict. Many wars are fought over religion and over arguments and borders and boundaries and situations where someone has to be right. Your objective is not to be right. Your objective is to be effective in your communication. Your objective is to be a man or a woman of influence. Someone who's able to be a sage who walks through the universe imparting wisdom and goodwill. And when you come from that type of energy, you'll attract your reality more frequently, people of like mind. But when you're coming from anxiety, fear, and doubt, that will be your like mind. You'll attract your reality frequently, people to fulfill your feelings of disappointment. And they, I don't want to be disappointed. I understand that, but it's your responsibility to understand that's a payoff. And that payoff that keeps you doing the same situation over and over keeps you relatable to other like-minded disappointers. And as you begin to have an awareness and understanding of that, you can, you can start to let go of your anxiety about that, about being rejected, abandoned, neglected, abused, violated, and the other situations that keep you in a very low energy, a low frequency called anxiety, fear, and doubt. Now this is not difficult, this is new. It's not going to be a long, hard journey. It's going to end tonight, take four. So I understand technical difficulties do not have to ruin a day. So it's not, it, it, one of the things you learn to do is you never focus on the problem, you focus on the solution. We keep bouncing back to deliver the content. I'm going to wrap the content up here really quickly overall so I can give you a, like a perspective of 
how you can be and stay relatable. First of all, be able to relate with yourself with self-talk that's conducive to creating outcomes, results, and solutions that are favorable. Do your best not to be critical of self while being honest. You can be honest without being critical, and you learn to let go quickly. Have a very short memory about mistakes. Call them mistakes, not failures. Call them experiences, challenges, but don't dwell on the mistake. Focus on learning from a situation, put it into practical application, and do your best not to repeat a mistake. So that when you're creating relationships, you're not dwelling on what you did wrong, you focus on what you did that was effective. Begin to use the word effective, not right and wrong. Move out of the right and wrong dichotomy of win and lose. Being able to create relationships isn't about winning and losing, it's about being relatable. Being relatable means you're able to relate to self. You understand self, you know about self, you have a better understanding of why you do what you do. You don't continue to say, I don't know, I don't know why I do this. You do know, and in a relaxed body, you're able to see a situation for what it is, adapt and adjust, create newer experiences that empower you rather than staying disempowered. And it means that in your communication, there's no yeah, but anymore. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. I want to thank the GMS team for putting this content together for me. I want to thank you for being absolute first class clients, friends, and entrepreneurs. You have a great day. Thank you for listening to the More Heart Than Talent radio. If you enjoyed today's content and would like more insight and education to the breakthrough process, you can get my new Breakthrough Factor audio training for free today. It's seven hours of breakthrough content to assist you to break through in life and business. This training is currently for sale on my website for $497, but I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus to persuade you to try my new coaching program called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle. It's my proven system to teach everyday people and entrepreneurs how to break through to success. When you join the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle, you will participate in two private video coaching calls per month that you and my other members receive access to. On each call, the first half, I'll be teaching the skill of the week and giving you an assignment related to the topic. You will have the opportunity to post your homework in my private JCIC Facebook group. The Facebook group is a place where you can interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, and other JCIC members. On the second half of the coaching call, I'll be coaching JCIC members one-on-one -on -one live for you to observe. As a member, you can register for your own live one-on-one -on -one coaching session during this call. They're all recorded and posted in the JCIC members area for you to review while you are an active member. You will also receive a new member's welcome kit and my new Breakthrough Factor audio program absolutely free for joining. You can sign up today for just $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today.